More than 200 downed trees were reported to the 911 call center in New Orleans from Hurricane Zeta. And as Erica Ferrando explains, many of those trees fell because they were termite infested and they couldn't withstand the strong winds. Like hundreds of trees across New Orleans, these trees along Bayou St. John didn't survive Hurricane Zeta's strong winds. But as entomologist Joe Martin explains, Zeta isn't the only one to blame. New Orleans has possibly the worst Formosan termite problem in the world. These trees were infested with Formosan termites. You can tell because they're hollowed out and full of termite carton nests. Formosan termites are the silent enemy. But the silent enemy sent a loud message. This storm really exposed us on, on the issue with the trees because of the high winds. So we haven't had high wind like that in the city in a very long time. For most in termites, consume wood until the tree can no longer stand. And we get hit with a lot of wind like that, the tree is not as strong. Martin estimates half of trees in New Orleans are infested with Formosan termites. That's why he recommends inspecting your trees, especially before a storm. Here are three tips. One, dig for termites at the base of the tree. If they're in your tree, they're likely present just below the soil line. Two, look for mud tubes between pieces of bark. And three, look for swarmers. Mud protruding out from the tree may be passageways for the pests. It's a bad time to find out that you have termites in your tree when the tree fell on the ground. Most trees can be treated by professionals like Terminex, and that could prevent one of these large trees from falling and damaging your property in the next storm. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. If you find that trees in your yard are infested, termites may have invaded your home as well, and you can call termite control companies to get it checked out.